Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bypass iPhone and iPad by change serial number and generating the activation file for that serial number. As you can see, I have an iPhone 8 on activation lock screen. Please note that changing the serial number without the DCSD cable is only possible on A10 and above devices like the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8. 8 plus and x for ipads only those with 8 10 processors can change the serial number without the needs for this csd cable let's start out the first step which is to save the serial number of your device your original serial number go to 3 tools click this away for this reminder copy paste the serial number and open a notepad window i already saved the serial number here so i just Paste my serial number, go to save as, save it in some save folder. Just name it my serial org to save the serial number file. This is your serial number. Just in case the method to activate without changing your serial number is back, you can just change it back to this serial number of your device and do the method. Close it, close few tools. After that, open win win to pawn dfu or device click fix drivers to fix the drivers needed for the things to work just in case go to checkmate click next click ok if you're using a11 devices like me Once in recovery mode, you can you can put the device in DFU mode. So this software will put your device in point DFU mode. Just follow the instructions as seen in the software. Once in point DFU mode, you can run the program disk for the change serial number part. This will take some time, so be very patient. Once say all done, you can click quit, and now we can open program disk. You get this warning, just click OK. You can close program disk folder if you want to. If you get this, click fix driver. If you get driver fix done, click OK. Since my device is already registered, if you want to say not registered, you can click the not registered to register your device and copy and paste your serial, your ECID by clicking this and go to the link to register the device. I already registered my device. So I won't be demonstrating the registration process again. I'll be giving the registration links in the description below. Not to worry about that. Once you're done registering your device and your device is registered, click options, click change serial number. Click back, click start, then click boot iDevice. If any prompt to install drivers, accept the driver installation if necessary. Once get iDevice successfully boot into proper mode, click OK, click next. To check your comport, you can go to device manager. Go to port, make sure you select Dyke TDC serial. Select the COM port for this. Click refresh to re get the list, then select the correct COM port. For me, it's COM4. Then click change SN. You get this warning. Click yes to change the SN. Once the SN is changed successfully, the next step is to generate the activation files for that particular SN. But if for some reason, the device keep boot looping. You can have to restore using 3 u or iTunes. Up to you. I'll be restoring using 3 u I'll go to Smart Flash and put my device on recovery mode. Once on recovery mode, restore the device. 
go to quick flash mode, quick flash, quick flash. Let it do the job. This will take some time, so be very patient. Once say clean flash complete, let the let the iPhone look to the hello screen, I mean the setup app. This will take some time, so be very patient. You can now close few tools and go to options. Wait for the phone to load to the hello screen. You get this, click OK. That means your serial number changed successfully. Click OK. Once you get to the hello screen, you can select generate activation ticket, click back, click start, click generate files. Once you generated the activation files for your device, after changing the serial number, click done. Then after that, you can now go to back to WinRain to pawn DFU again. Select checkmate again and follow the procedures again. Now let the pawn DFU procedures begin. Once it's all done, you click quit and go back to program disk. Reconnect your device if necessary. If it's still stuck, you can just close program disk and op reopen program disk to fix. Click OK. Now let it connect to the server, then the device. If not, click fix drivers to fix your drivers. As WinWin might override their own drivers. We show interfere, we broke them this. And click options, click Hello Screen Bypass, RAM Disk, back, start. Then click select your iOS version. For me, it's the latest available iOS version, which will be iOS 16.4. Click boot device. Now let the boot process begin. If you're first time doing the boot device, you will download the boot files required. Once you get iDevice successfully boot in SSH mode, click OK. Click next. Click bypass iCloud to start. Then let the software upload the activation files and you should go to the home screen. If you get this, up to you. So for me, I click no. This is up to you. So if you really want to block OTA, click yes. Otherwise, click no. And reset as well. Okay, iCloud has been successfully bypassed. Click OK. Now let the device Pull up to the home screen as I already click skip setup. And boom, it's now at the home screen. As you can see, you get this morning message because we disabled the server. I thought has been bypassed successfully. Let me show that it's a tethered bypass. I mean, untethered bypass. I just shut down the, the phone. It should not go back to the hello screen. Turn on the phone again. It is also untethered as well. I turn on the phone to show you again to show that this is an untethered bypass. Please note, back up your serial numbers before you attempt these procedures. As just in case the no serial bypass came back, you can revert your own serial number and do the no serial change bypass.
that's all for this tutorial video please like share and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel i hope to see you again in another video bye for now